All right, so today we have a pretty interesting and exciting model unboxing. Um, this is like, uh, it's kind of a hard to find model. It's not for the US market. It is for the, I believe the Asian market. It's an Asian market machine. Uh, bought this about a week ago. Uh, came from, came from China. Uh, and it arrived relatively fast, which was surprising. So normally shipping from China is, can be slow. Um, so let's get this thing unboxed here. Really looking forward to getting this. Uh, I saw a few people post about it on Instagram. Uh, managed to find one myself, uh, so I couldn't resist not buying it, obviously. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you kind of already know what this is. Uh, and there's, you can see, it's, the, it's a John Deere E360 LC um, in 1 50th scale. Looks like a fairly nice model, actually. I have no clue who actually makes this. Um, some people say uh, I've talked to say it's Ertl, um, but there's just the bottom of the box. It just has no indicator of who makes it at all. Um, so let's get it out of the box. It's fairly nice, actually. Uh, for a John Deere model, it's surprising. The, um, the box and everything's much different than I was thinking. Um, no clue what that means at all. Obviously, I cannot read. I cannot read it. It's in a different language, but there it is. Um, I have to get my wire cutters here, but here's the model. Get my wire cutters and we'll get it um, unclipped out of the box. So, like I said, this is an Asian market machine. I have no clue who makes this at all. Uh, it appears to be a fairly nice model. Uh, it's held together by a few zip ties, which I'll just cut off right here. Um, uh, this model, uh, I believe there's still some for sale. Uh, you can also get them from the like Asian Deer website, I believe. Um, me and a couple other people investigated that, um, but I wanted to see how this model was before I decided to pull the trigger on a few more of them, um, and what I'm seeing right now, I'm fairly happy with it. Um, I'm, I've seen a few people, like I said, I've seen a few people post about it, but I haven't seen anyone actually own it, and if this is an Ertl model... Um, they did a fantastic job. The tracks are metal. We had originally think they were plastic. Um, handrails are plastic. The hydraulic detailing on this thing is just... Uh, it's not what an Ertl model would be. So I have no clue if this is Ertl or not. Um, it could just be a Chinese brand. Um, there's the digging depth on this thing. Um, but that's kind of just the Deer E360. Um, very excited. I will definitely be doing a review probably after I'm done filming the unboxing. There's just a quick overview of it. Uh, now that I have this, I will probably be pulling the trigger on quite a few more of these. Uh, they're really nice. Uh, nice models to own. Um, so that's just kind of about it for this unboxing. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. Follow us on Instagram and like us on Facebook. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, like I said, I will be doing a review of this and getting it up probably the same day I upload this unboxing. Um, but thank you for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for the next video.